Hey, this is Pete Hink. I am off Schumann Drive, an area called Twin Lakes. This is an area, it's, it's mid-January 1st. This is an area that's been recently sprayed. For the last uh, year or so, Sebastian has stopped spraying the weed killers into the lakes and canals, but recently started spraying again. This is one of the impoundments that they did spray. So the reason why they spray it, because the aquatic vegetation was growing out from the banks and they said it needed to go. But I don't think what they realize, the aquatic vegetation is actually filtering the water of this particular pond or lake. I would call it a pond, almost a retention pond. Okay, it filters the water. Okay, if the, if the weeds, that's, called, that's what they call it, weeds, if it grows out 10 feet from the bank, to me, that's a good thing. That's a healthy lake. There's a lot of aquatic plant life filtering a lot of water, making a lot of habitat for birds and for fish. So what they did, they sprayed this entire impoundment area, pretty much killing all the vegetation. And all that vegetation has been taking up all the nutrients. You know, the fertilizers and everything else and stuff from the road that gets washed in. So once you kill all the aquatic plant life, it settles to the bottom, turns to what they call toxic muck. Okay, now, and then it releases all the nutrients the plants take in, get re-released, re, re okay? So this is, hadn't been long, okay? They sprayed earlier this month. This is what the lake looks like now. It's turning almost a neon green, and that's algae. Is it blue-green algae? I'm not sure, but I would not take a chance. Blue-green algae, it can be extremely, extremely toxic to animals. So if you're around these areas like this, you're walking your dog, man, please keep your dogs away, keep your kids away. I would not fish in any water like this. I'd say it could be very, very unhealthy. But um, it's a shame. Look at this water. There's algae growing everywhere. It's turning a lime green. All the aquatic vegetation is gone. I haven't seen one bird, okay? I haven't seen any kind of wildlife whatsoever around this pond. So they tell you they got to spray. They got to spray because the aquatic vegetation will take over the lake. This is a retention pond. If the aquatic vegetation takes over the lake, so be it. It's filtering the water. It's clean water. The water that flows from this when it overflows down these little canals into the lagoon is clean. Once you spray it, it's nothing but toxic, I think, toxic algae. It's algae. One way or another, this is algae. Is it toxic algae? You know, I don't think they would ever even bother to check if it's toxic or not because they don't want to know. But I'm not going to take a chance. But guys, you know, come on. You know, we, we're better than this. We're smarter than this. You guys got to realize a natural, healthy body of water does not look like this. It has vegetation, sometimes covering almost the entire pond. That's healthy, guys. We just got a misperception of what is healthy and what is not. And spraying chemicals and poisons into the water definitely is not. So I'll be checking on this pond again here in a few days, see, how, see if it gets worse and see if it gets better. But until then, this is Pete Hink. Um, please, man, subscribe to my channel and uh, hopefully we're gonna take care of this. Thank you.